Hello there, YouTube. My name is Jonathan. My name is Brian. And we are the, the Gay Beards. Today we're going to go over some requirements of what it takes to be our boyfriends. And it is not easy. It is a grueling process. Nobody even knows what we're looking for. How are we supposed to find love if we don't even know what love is? Exactly. We have a full list of requirements so that if you are interested, you might find that you qualify. So I feel like we're fancy people. I feel like we like nice things. I'm a class A gal, you know? So my first requirement is royalty. If you're not a king or you're not a prince or you don't have royalty in your blood, we may still review the application, but it's very important that you have some kinghood mm -hmm. in you. My boyfriend has to be a level four black belt at least. Don't you feel like purple or yellow is a better color? He could be a black belt, but he has to wear the purple belt. I would like a man who is willing to exchange two goats and one hen to my parents in exchange for my hand in marriage. Don't you feel like that's going to the root of I the think matter? So. Yeah. I really think they're just more for like, I w the neighbors walk by your parents' house, oh, they have two goats. And a hen. Their son must be with a very handsome, successful young man. It's more of a status thing. Gotcha. I require my boyfriend to have a pager on him at all times, so whenever I need a foot massage or a chipotle, it'll be there instantly. Yep. Brr, brr. Like, you look down oh. And you're like, oh. He needs a foot massage in Chipotle. My baby needs Chipotle. Mmm, mmm, extra sour cream. Rrr, rrr, don't fuck this up. Because I feel like I like to travel, we like to travel, we like to go places that are exotic and remote, my boyfriend's going to need a pilot's license. I, I don't expect you to own your own aircraft yet, but I do expect you to be able to know how to fly one. I want to be your co-pilot in life. You need to know how to fly the plane because I'm not going to. Oh god. I'm just going to look pretty in the cockpit. My boyfriend, I feel like, I mean, I have a beard, but I don't want, I don't want to feel like competed against. Mm -hmm. So he needs to be able to, he needs to shave every day. Yep. But if I decide to change my mind, he needs to be able to grow a beard back in a day. Fine. Like you shaved and I don't like it. You better, there better be a beard by mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, you need to be facial hair flexible. Mm -hmm. FHF. I want a boyfriend who would be willing to stand up as tribute in the Hunger Games and fight for me. Men these days don't understand that that's something that's rather implied when you're going on a date. Right. Say, I'm spending my nice morning in District 7, tanning out on the front lawn, just like I would do any other morning, and District 9 loses its shit. I need my boyfriend to be able to march his ass through District 8 to District 9 and fight in my honor. If he dies, obviously I'm going to settle again pretty quickly. I'm not going to be single in District 7. Oh no. I'd be made a mockery of. Uh, a mocking jay of. I love it. Thank you. Um, I was thinking about a requirement that I have, and that is whenever him and I, my boyfriend, get in an argument, I don't care if I stabbed him or broke something of his. <laughs> if after the argument, he better admit that he was wrong. I'm never wrong. No. Some people don't don't know that. I feel like particularly men. I want a man who looks at me like Richard Gere looked at Julia Roberts from that very first moment he saw her. He just knew. I want a Richard Gere. I want him to be like, you know what? We're going shopping today. And if you can't do that for me, then you've made a big mistake. Huge. I decided he needs to be anywhere from five, eight and three quarters <laughs> to six, three and a half height wise. Big no room. less, no more. How are you supposed to date somebody though if you can't see eye to eye? Right? Wow. This one's not so much a hefty requirement, but I am gonna need somebody to be able to run out and get me a Snickers 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Some doctors, in fact, have tested my blood in the in the past to find that although I am not actually pregnant, I do carry a lot of the same hormonal imbalances as a pregnant woman. It's, I need Brian to have a boyfriend because I don't like the person he becomes when he's snickerless. We've had to install a dark gun upstairs. They call it me going wild. I, I think it's a little rude, but... I've taken him down a few times. I really don't remember a whole lot, though, during those episodes. We, my boyfriend needs to be his own boss, so I can be like, hey, I need you to come home because I want you to. He should be able to just do that. Basically be at your beck and call. Yeah. So he needs to have a job, but he needs to be his own boss. Right. So that he can literally drop anything that he's doing to focus on you entirely. Right. My boyfriend, and I'm sure Jonathan shares this with me, needs to be willing to have our child. My body is my temple. I can't ruin it. I, I can't. I, as much as I would love to be a mother, the idea of these starting to go south. No, nope, I like mesquite slopes, nice and perky. Mm -hmm. So you basically need to be willing to father our child and give birth. So we've kind of gone over some of our general requirements. I feel humbled by this experience because we've kind of put everything out of the table and I feel like we're being pretty reasonable. Right. Our fair. balls are in your court. So the last requirement, which is actually one that both Jonathan and I are going to be willing to share, is that the requirement to be gay, but not really. It'd be great if you were gay, but we are also very willing to look at other 
heterosexual, bisexual, asexual. We're, we're looking for men. See, that's the beautiful thing about us is that we're so open to different lifestyles that we are willing to even entertain the idea of dating a straight man. If you have a friend or a pal that you think might be interested or maybe fit some of the qualifications, feel free to forward this video to them. We're going to be taking applications via Snapchat. We're going to uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Instagram, Facebook, all of that. Perhaps we'll make another video opening these applications or reviewing them. I think we're really going to find boyfriends doing this. I think so. Of course, we are kidding. We don't actually have all these ridiculous requirements for our boyfriend applications. However, we are very much single. And that part is true. Having a significant other, a boyfriend, girlfriend, what have you, is obviously a great way to add an addition to your lifestyle. But it should always be based on trust and love and loyalty and a mutual respect for each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a good person. That's the most attractive quality you can possibly find in somebody else, yep. is to be a good person. Just be good. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. But having the pilot's license won't hurt. Okay, All guys, right. well, we absolutely love you. Go out, have a beautiful rest of your weekend. We do new videos every Friday at noon on the West Coast, so make sure you subscribe to this channel because how else are you going to remember that we're coming out with a video once a week, okay? Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and until next time, bye! bye. Tyra's always like, I want to see that smize, and so it's just like... I'm trying. She'll be like, this is me with no smize. And she'll be like, and then this is me with smiles.